So we're talking about YouTube and we're talking about affiliate marketing, online marketing and real estate and all of this wealth building on this channel. But what about your mindset? I feel like this is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself if you really do want to be successful. It is so important to manage your mind. And ultimately that comes down to you being able to imagine getting what you want. So a few weeks ago, I was with my friend Kelly, where we, we have Kelly in the Bronwyn TV. That's where we promote other people. We interview other people and talk to them about their story. How did you come through this? It's a lot about mindset. And in this interview where she and I were just talking, I was telling how I use my mind to grab hold of the excitement of the moment when I get the things that I want. Let's go watch that video. You look like you know what you're talking about. I totally do. <laughs> How do you stop overcomplicating when you're manifesting? Tell us. Thank you for asking me. I am a genius. I am actually a really, really experienced overcomplicator at manifest. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say that. That's funny. <laughs> I am so good at messing up. <laughs> I'm super good at messing up, which is why you need to listen to me right now, because I totally figured this one out. Expert. Expert right here. My experience <laughs> certifies me. Certified expert at keeping it simple. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Share so, your wisdom. So as you know, when you're manifesting something, you are using your mind and your feelings and creating an action plan to get something very specific that you want. So let's talk money. Let's say you want a specific amount of money. This one time I wanted $5,000 and I wanted it to come to me within a week. And it actually came to me all at once within one day when I manifested it. So, I mean, this is totally possible. In that instance, I did keep it simple. I didn't decide how it had to happen. This is what I used to do to overcomplicate things, okay? Here's how to overcomplicate your manifesting. Yay! Don't take notes. <laughs> Don't take notes. But here's how to do it. You, you really, you fuss and stress over not having it. That's the first thing. Ugh, right thinking, thinking you're you're putting energy into getting what you want but you're really just fussing over not having it and it's a very fine line and you can tell by how you feel about it um focusing that way also is a really great way to keep yourself so busy in your head that you never even think about the manifestation moment it doesn't matter how all of this happens in between all that, all that matters is that you're prepared to take any inspired next step along the way without judgment, just do it. And you know, this moment that you're going for, you know what that looks like in your mind. It's this happy, fabulous moment where you are experiencing the celebration of getting what you want and, you know, imagine what that's like. But if you're going to overcomplicate it, you, you think you have to know all the steps in between. You think you have to know what everybody's going to do in between everything everybody's going to say, everything you're going to say, all the pieces of how you're going to get what you want. That is not how to get what you want. That's how to chase it away. <laughs> that's how to not get what you want. Robert. That's how to give up. Well, that's how to stress yourself out and steal your own hope. That's what that does. That's what that is. So let's say... Let's say to keep it simple, we're going to give you a very simple process that you've heard a million times because you have watched all the Napoleon Hill video, Napoleon Hill videos and all, read all the, the Bob Proctor books. You've listened to Tony Robbins and Chris Crone and all these other gurus. Aaron, how do you say Aaron's last name? Is it Doty? I think it's Doty. Doty, Aaron Doty. All these manifestation guru people, okay? They all say the same thing. You use your mind, get your feelings right, your emotional state, and then create an actionable plan. However, you release yourself from the outcome. The only outcome you're looking for is that moment when you say, oh, look, kids, I totally got my $30,000 in one month. <laughs> this is my money. My money came to me. I'm so excited. And you're dancing in the house. And that's. That's what you're manifesting. 
nice the truth where you have the check in your hand or whatever it is that you want to imagine you know maybe maybe it's in your bank account look kids everybody gather around look what i have you know that's the moment you're trying to manifest and so you know you could be holding all the cash in your hand or whatever but the thing that you're manifesting is the awesome feeling you're going to have when that happens and just like pretend it's happening right now that's how to keep it simple you know so so like so how about you kelly i mean what do you do to, to really i mean i feel like i have it right now this thing that i want <laughs> i may as well have it this moment you know that's the point so well like, you know i like to write it out mm -hmm. i like to describe it in detail uh, when I have it. So mm -hmm. I do, I write a manifesto. Mm -hmm. And so things that I want, I describe them as if I've got them now. And what my life is like with that thing in my life, mm -hmm. and how excited and grateful I am for it. And then, mm -hmm. you know, read that's that. Do, yeah, and that's how to get your head, because you got to retrain those neural pathways, right? But, right. But like the thing that makes it simple, is getting your feelings remember your feelings are a magnifying glass is that what you always say kelly your feelings are a magnifying glass i say steroids okay the feelings are the steroids for getting what you yeah. want yes so what i'm talking about is okay you got all this all this thing that you've written out but what if you read it da, 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 da. Uh, that's not gonna work right right what if you never figure out what if you start reading it and all of a sudden, all the doubts start coming in, and you can't even imagine that this, all this detailed thing that you wrote could possibly be true. This has happened to me, all right? And that's yeah. why, like, I forgot to just sit and meditate on the moment and even say yeah. it out loud as if my kids are in the room and I'm telling them right now, you know? Ooh, it's so you're, powerful. In, you're reenacting it. Yes. From the future. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. And this, you know, because the whole manifestation process as you wait and you're nourishing it before you get it is all about living as if right. the feeling has to be right. So anyway, that's how to keep it simple. Do you have anything to it. add? <laughs> that is such a good uh, piece of advice. That's a good guideline. Yeah. So um, how do you get the feeling when you're in scarcity so like if you're looking at your bank account and you're like oh my gosh what are we gonna do we don't have enough money to pay this bill which is due tomorrow how do you go from that to what you described how do you do that how do i do that i'm really good at this actually i we just did desecanator class the other day so <laughs> It, I'm going to put the link in the description on this video so you can actually go watch that long. Like yeah, this. it was awesome. But I do my forgiveness technique because if I'm in scarcity, yeah, if I'm in scarcity, it ties back to some resentful feeling that I have. It does every uh, single time. Any scarcity that I have always ties back to me trying to blame somebody else for my problems. Wow. And so... I give my whole, I give my body all the whole voice that it needs and I, I, I just mentor myself through it and I, I just, it works for me. And so I, I get myself, it. yeah, you got to get yourself peaceful and glad. What is glad? Glad is the feeling of gratitude. Yeah. You have to get yourself feeling peaceful and grateful before you can shift into this manifestation anyway, right? You have right. to, and forgiveness, and this is, this is this goes to my um, my personal beliefs and my personal philosophy. I believe that meekness means to endure injury without resentment. Oh, that's good. Which is instant forgiveness, right? Right. So that is step number one, and I believe you have to have that and to be teachable before you can even start the manifestation process. It won't work without it, and we've had that proved by people over and over and over again. Yeah. You know, that doesn't mean you can ask me, but what about so-and-so who's evil and they manifested all this stuff? I, come on. Okay. And so I, at some juncture, they figured out getting their vibe right or 
they bought <sighs> their success or something. Right. You're sleepy. I know. I don't know why. I got more sleep than normal last night. Oh, that might be why. That's I went to bed at like 9.30 instead of 10. Mm -hmm. So that's weird. I don't know why I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I got six hours of sleep instead of five, and I'm more tired. Hmm, that Makes happens. no sense. That happens to me sometimes. It's probably because you like a REM cycle was interrupted or something. You know what somebody told me is that when you yawn a lot, it means you're processing. Yeah, and I had somebody tell me that it means you're rejecting an idea. <gasps> wow. Just subconsciously trying to reject an idea. Because what do you do when you yawn? All of your attention and all the blood goes like to this one spot. Wow. But at the same time, I had somebody else tell me that it means that you're being receptive. Yeah. That, that something is connecting. <gasps> so I feel like it's that. I connecting. Yeah. I think it could be a conglomeration of all of them. I think if we so. just examined them, they fit together like a puzzle and it all makes sense. But. So I keep having these questions come up. I want to ask follow up questions. Yeah. So can you do the forgiveness technique on money? You can do the forgiveness technique on you. Oh. And you. Your ability to produce your money? feelings about anything. Oh. Huh. The forgiveness technique is to clear away all the negative stuff. So when you do the forgiveness technique on money, you're really doing it on your attitude about money. Yes. Is that right? Yes. It's all about feelings. Cool. So, okay. So, so like after you watch the video, you know what I mean? But you go like, Hey Bronwyn, looks like you really don't believe you can actually get this thing that you say you want so much. Why? Yeah. Because I think it's too hard and I can't see it happening and there's all this evidence, blah, blah, blah. But I learned something the other day. Well, I was actually reminded. I knew this a long time ago, but I was reminded of something really important the other day, especially where I'm so focused on this forgiveness technique and spreading this forgiveness project. Yeah. Forgiveness is the neutralizer for like the boomerang law and stuff. So forgiveness, when you actually use it properly, it neutralizes the consequences of a lot of things. Now, if you're going to go, okay, please, let, can we be reasonable? If you're going, what about this person that did a thing and they need to go to prison? I'm not talking about that. Okay. <laughs> what if they're sorry before they go to prison? I'm just not talking about that. That's when man-made consequences come in. I'm talking about universal consequences. Okay. Totally so, different. So if we're talking about like, the law of the harvest or the law of cause and effect, or some people call it karma. You put something out there and it comes back in a book I've been reading and this goes to manifesting. So remember this, you put something out, it comes back to you in a book. I just got done reading the, um, the game of life and how to play it by Florence Stovall Shin. Highly recommend that book. You can listen to it on audio right here on YouTube. Um, she tells a story about a woman that came to her and said, this thing just happened and I don't know what to do about it. Help me figure out why this happened. Well, she had been given by the bank a counterfeit $20 bill on accident. And oh. she's like, they're never going to believe me, but I don't care about that so much as I care about why I manifested this. And so they started oh, unraveling. Yeah. That's she, interesting. Yeah. So they started unraveling and she goes, Oh my gosh. Uh, about a month ago, I sent a whole bunch of, stage money to my friend as a joke because this is something they do it's like a little fun fun prank and they both thought it was funny and no big deal but she set something in motion and it came back to her like that she got counterfeit money from the bank when she went and got and this was back in the time that twenty dollars was like two hundred dollars okay yeah, so that's a lot it's, it was a lot of money to her so she went she's like okay well let's let's undo this karma right? So they neutralized this, this karma. And she said, you are free. You know, you can be free of the, the consequences of this just by shifting your energy and then imagining yourself going to the bank and saying, Hey, this happened. And then they just say, Oh, sorry. And give you the real $20 bill. Right? So she said, she said they sat down and they worked this out. And then she goes, Hey, you got to just believe it's neutralized. She, she used that law to neutralize the law that like that would otherwise mean that she would always have to be getting 
this nasty consequence for things that she thought were so innocent. We all do this all the time, right? And right. If paying attention, we can see how, I mean, it's the law of the universe. Everything we put out there comes back to us somehow. We just need to learn to be responsible, right? And that's the boomerang law. It is the boomerang law. That's awesome. It's always going to come back unless you use the law of forgiveness to neutralize it. Wow. Um, oh, there was something else. I, oh, that's powerful. Yeah, there's, for me, I, I knew about the law of forgiveness, but I didn't understand how to apply it until after I you know, started figuring out this technique. But I thought, and I was teaching, I teach this popcorn analogy. And in the popcorn analogy, and I have stuff to add to it now, but in the past when I was teaching this, it's like, okay, without the, what this is without the law of forgiveness, this is how it is. You put your seed in, you blow the belief heat on it. And then if you unplug and take the heat off, that seed is gone. It will never pop again. And this is how it is in oh. reality with popcorn, right? Right. Um, but in the, as far as metaphorically, if you happen to decide to doubt for a minute, because we all do on accident sometimes, we choose into that. Sure. We're growing our seed, or well, let's use, a, let's use a, a farmer analogy now. We're growing our carrot. And it's coming up out of the ground. And then we, well, maybe it hasn't come up quite yet, but it's on its way. And we go, forget it. <laughs> I can't do this. You know? <laughs> if we do that without the law of forgiveness, that seed is dead. And we have to start with a new one. And can you imagine? This I believed for the longest time. I was like, well, I just killed it. Now I have to start over. And I was constantly starting over on this one thing over, uh, and over and over and over again because I believed it was over. Yeah. Well, there's this other law, <laughs> this neutralizing law, which <gasps> makes Yay. it so that basically I put it on pause, but I didn't kill it. Oh my gosh. If I know how to use the That's law amazing. properly. Yeah. You have to you have wow. intentionally use it though. It doesn't just happen. Yeah. You, you have, have to, to do the align, process. Yeah. You have to align yourself with that law. You have to be in harmony with it in order to access it and use it. It's different from the other one. The other ones, it's kind of happened. That's really interesting. <laughs> this one is a little different. Yeah. Wow. So I'm sure that's going to stir up a lot of questions for our viewers. If you have questions, go ahead and use, you know, use yeah. the comment. <gasps> um, but it's simple. Like it's just another part of keeping it simple. Just release the resentment. Get your vibe right. Yeah. And remember that these things are there for you to utilize so that you can manifest. Why do we always complicate things? What's behind that? Fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. So we add steps to cover our butts? Yeah. Well, okay. Can I put you on the spot? Yes. In the past, has there ever been something that you really that you wanted but you really didn't want oh yeah okay many so you say you want it but you didn't really want it because you're afraid to have it yeah okay so that's a perfect example um fear you know messed up your vibe yeah so even though you were working so hard to manifest that you didn't know what it would be like to have it. You didn't know if it was going to bite you. You didn't think you were asking for the right thing or something like that, right? Right. So, so you know, you tell me, was it fear that makes you overcomplicate it? Because you probably added a whole bunch of steps trying to get it and not get it at the same time. Hmm. I, well, so I'm thinking of my trip to Australia. Mm -hmm. So, you know, on one hand, I really want to go, but on the other hand, I'm terrified because yeah. um, I've never been to Australia. I don't know. I won't know anybody there except the one mermaid that I only know from the internet. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. It's just so everything's new and scary and and I, but I really want to do it. Like, I really want to go speak at Mercon, but I am also really terrified to go speak at Mercon. And I have not manifested the money for a ticket yet. And because, it's, getting, right. it's getting really close, like maybe even too late close. Oh, so, <clears throat> okay. So we're just going to use that as an example then. Okay. And what if you just say, 
what if instead of worrying about how you're going to manifest the money, you imagine yourself manifesting enough money that you can bring a friend and that friend is available and yeah. willing and excited to go with you. You don't faceless friend. You don't need to know who that is, <laughs> but you just manifested enough money to pay for their plane ticket, their room and their board while they come with you so that you have. Somebody. Yeah. Does that sound be awesome? All of it? And I've invited two people and who have both said yes and they canceled. Oh. <laughs> That's because you're so scared to go. But now that you're so. aware, it changes everything once you like pinpoint it and become aware of it, right? Yeah. So how about you just like use what we said, keep it simple, and just imagine yourself jumping up and down that you just got this check that is exactly enough. To do everything that you need you to bring a friend. Okay. No cost to them. Just their time. Just their enthusiasm. Just their, you know, being there to be your biggest fan. Yeah. And how fun it is to jump up and down. Look, I'm coming. <laughs> and buy the plane ticket. Let's go click and buy the plane ticket right now. Or plane tickets right now. Let's go book our. That's a good our, idea. Yeah, just imagine yourself having it now. And, yeah. and doing the thing with it and see if that helps you get your energy right so that you're okay. not going, come here. I know. That's <laughs> totally what I'm doing. When we do this, this is the only part that works. <laughs> yeah, this is way stronger. <laughs> way stronger. You got to move this out of the way. And, yeah. And I use the forgiveness technique. For any feelings I have because all of it comes back to forgiving myself forget it in my way even if I think it's about somebody else right now even if I dump and it's about somebody else right now it comes back to me yeah so. yeah I know this is all about me this is all about me being scared mm -hmm. totally so fear of the unknown yep Thanks for watching that video. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. I know that these principles have completely changed my life. It's all about having an action plan and believing that you're gonna get the thing that you want and imagining the moment and feeling like you already have it. So many of us are afraid to want what we want. We're afraid to imagine having it because we feel like that's gonna make us fail. We're even afraid to talk about it because we believe that birthday candle wish thing where if you talk about it, you're sure not to get it. It's so important to get your head on straight. And we're going to be talking about that a lot more on this channel as we go forward. But remember that you can apply this to this action plan that I'm teaching you where you're going to use YouTube and apply affiliate marketing so that you can be focused on your marketing and then invest that in real estate for your ultimate amazing wealth. Links in the description on the path to doing all of that. If you go to thebronwyn.com, you can apply to get the simple checklist. Very, very simple. I'm just gonna give you a place to go where you can for free learn exactly the things that you need to know click by click to get started and to make this a success for you. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell and I will talk to you later. Bye.